Welcome back to the Adventures of Waffles. It's episode three, and if you had one guess as to what we're starting with, what would it be? You guessed right, we're destroying everything. Well, kind of. Or at least starting with some destruction, because I wanna, I had a kind of a different vision in my head at first, and now I think a little bit of a slope down of the roof over here would look a little better than it just constantly going up and being difficult to actually build properly. But this maybe looks good. Let's check on it. Meh. I don't know. It's, it's not great. Again, I am not a master builder. I know I definitely need to take some time to just really learn the aesthetics, but for now, it's function over fashion, and this house most certainly is functional. It gives me enough space. But look at that, we've got some creature comforts. We've got this little house right here that's really close to the home. Uh, I do want to really call it a home. But yeah, I destroy everything and gather up all the stuff. And I know, I heard your comments and, you know, totally heard them by reading them out loud because that's what I do. Uh, I heard your comments and I know that I now can destroy those beds and I don't have to completely repair things before I destroy them to get max resources. So that's pretty nice. But you get a good look at the house. I want to put a little, you know, staircase right here. And let's, let's just, you know... Close up the loft a little bit, pretty it up just a bit, make it so that not everything is exposed to the elements. Maybe I won't be cold all the time. And I think it'll look pretty good. You know, the upper decker section right here should be closed off and it'll be a nice little bedroom area. And I, I just, I think it's it's an ideal little extra space. I, I feel like it would pretty much, it would look fine without this upper decker, but I, I feel like we have enough space for it. And you know, let's close up these little gaps right here. And yeah, I think these little X's look kind of good, right? Yeah, they'll look great. Got to add a little bit of texture to this place. But this upper decker is kind of nice. You got a deck, I mean, you know, we don't want to fall right here. So it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's required by, you know, OSHA standards of building, right? You got to have guardrails. So test it out. Yep, stairs look great. Stairs work well. And you don't catch yourself when you come up. It's nice. But I feel like the bed needs to be up there. It's definitely the right spot for it. And the headboard. I remember that the headboard is now the headboard. It's not a footboard. I thought it was a footboard at first. I don't know why. Why would you put that at your feet? But <laughs> let's, let's cross off these windows and let's, uh, let's kind of see how this thing looks. What do you say? Well, okay. All right. It looks like absolute crap. Pretty much what I expected. The X's don't really help anything at all. It looks decent from the inside, but the outside is just absolute garbage. Uh, yeah, if I were a Game of Thrones character, I would definitely be waffles of house garbage. It's official. It just makes sense, you know? The moment I realize my head is pointed the wrong way, I do fix this, so it's gotta happen. It just makes more sense. Let's light this place up a bit because the upper decker area is, is definitely a bit dark, and I do wish I gathered more resin throughout the time or else I probably would have put more of these in, but it's enough. I was able to light this place up decently. Yeah, looked pretty good. And for some strange reason, I decided that the door should have been here the whole time, on this side, because it just, you know, it looks better. You enter and you have the little, you know, fireplace, and over here is gonna kind of be my work section. Put the workbench over here and then I'll actually make a little section for boxes. I need wood though, of course. I always need wood. Wood montage number two in this episode. Yeah, I didn't, I kind of talked over the other one, but we're in wood montage mode. It's just glorious. I, I love this edit. It's just satisfying for me to do. And I don't know, I, I hope you enjoy it as well. But yeah, we're gonna do a bit of a slope down right there and let's get back to the storage section. So we're creating a bit of a shelving situation right now and we're gonna place some boxes uh, lengthwise inside these little slots. Um, yeah, and we're gonna make it a little bit higher because we can, and it just looks a little better. So this is gonna be pretty great. And I, I think that some sort of shelving section is kind of necessary because you can place boxes wherever you want. But if you organize them, I think it just makes things look a little bit more organized. Again, exteriors, not really my thing. Interiors, 
Uh, kind of still not my thing, but let's just say I'm not completely terrible at interior design. I don't know if that's true for real life. It most certainly isn't. But yeah, you can see now we're back at the original little homestead, tiny little home right here, and we gathered a whole bunch of stuff. We gathered the bees, and now the bees have a new home right here. I made a little poll and, you know, kind of staggered them. The bees are indeed happy, even though I didn't click the button. Oh wait, I did. Hey, the bees are happy. And now, since we have some sturdling cores, we're going to place these guys down and we're gonna start doing some forging. But of course, I need to clear some space. I thought I cleared more than enough space, but this, um, this wood furnace is just, it's finicky. And it took me a whole lot longer to actually get it right than I show, because this, it's just, it's just one of the most annoying <laughs> things to place down. Down. It has to be perfectly level and it's got to be nicely wide and I didn't catch the clip of me actually placing it down I guess but yeah, I noticed that all the clips that I was clipping I guess I was recording a whole lot and it takes up a massive amount of space So I kind of stopped recording everything and recorded clips, but as you can see we have some tin our first metal ore is official i do a little dance right there yeah so i upgrade our regular workbench not that i need a tin for that uh, so now i can repair i brought the stuff from you know the original home and now i'm placing it up here and now we have a level three workbench fantastic i do still want to make the stag breaker by the way i need core wood for that but spoiler alert not happening in this episode Adding just a little bit more storage because, you know, I have the wood for it. I might as well because these boxes fill up really quick. Since we're here, we might as well do a sleep and actually wake up rested. Not that I can in real life. Uh, yeah, we're back at the tiny home. We're going to gather the last bit of supplies and say goodbye. Goodbye, tiny home. You served me well. Thank you for all of your memories. But now it's time for a destruction montage. Well, I don't know if I can actually call it a montage. It's more than, you know, just regular footage of me with a little bit of cuts here and there because it takes a while to destroy things. And yeah, pay homage, 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 I don't know, words. Yeah, tiny house is destroyed. I didn't get the clip of me coming back, but I brought all the resources home and that stairs looks a little bit nicer now. I feel like it's, it's just a little bit more beautiful. And yeah, I didn't like the placement for some reason. It kind of just ends up going back into the same place. I think I widened things out a little bit right here, but I wanted maybe a little more clearance between the two. I'm not sure. Rocks go there because it looks good and I don't want to store a thousand rocks. That's a little, little hint for you that you totally didn't know. If you have a lot of rocks, make them into a pile and put them around maybe your furnace. It'll look good. I made this little shack right here for our workbench outside. I wanted to be able to repair tools outside and I don't know, I feel like there was a possibility of our ores despawning if they weren't in the radius of the workbench. So I wanted to place one here just in case. I don't know how true that is, but to be safe for my ores that are, you know, on the ground, I wanted to make sure they didn't despawn because I know if they're near a workbench, they won't. I'm not sure of the mechanics, but that seemed reasonable to me. But now we have storage up here as well, not just on the ground. I like to put ores really close to the uh, furnace. And yeah, I moved the bees over here because I had to expand the section around the, 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 the furnace. And yeah, I think they're really happy here. But this is where I actually don't click on the button. <laughs> but we're going to explore a little bit of the black forest, find some bloobs, some blue bees. And uh, yeah, I think it's time we get some some good resources like copper, but just look at the black forest right now. Look at this sunrise. I think it's a sunrise, maybe sunset. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this skeleton right here, two skeletons. Uh, baseball bat, by the way, does not have a name because I am making this commentary before releasing episode two. Sorry about that, but eventually it will have a name. It will be official, even if it is in post but we have copper here. We're gonna get to some work because we have yet to actually mine some copper. We were interrupted in the previous episode because of that jerk face troll. Now we have copper. Ladies and gentlemen, we're making progress. This is great. Right into the sunrise or sunset. But skeleton over here decides that it wants to come to the party. It hits me a little bit through my guard and suddenly everything around me starts erupting in enemies. It's, it's amazing. 
It was pretty quiet for the most part up until this point, but now suddenly there's a massive amount of gray dwarfs all around me. Fortunately, the baseball bat is very much up to the task. It's an impressive weapon, even though it is literally the first weapon in the game, essentially, because, you know, it's a baseball bat. It's, it's just awesome, and I will definitely immortalize it on a nice shelf when I get the uh, fine wood to unlock the uh, item stand that you can actually place items on. I tried to have a little bit of an arranged fight with this skeleton, but it didn't go too well. He was actually doing a whole lot more damage than I seem to be doing. Uh, so I just kind of ran up on him and took him out. Baseball bat, no problem with that skeleton. But look, a one star staggers me because I've pretty much used all my stamina. And yeah, so I take this guy to more even terrain and I think it's, it's time to turn around and fight. Yet I still get staggered because I have no health. And it's still three swipes, you're out. Still there, yeah. Collect all these resources and it's copper time. We are free to mine the copper and I edit it into nice, nice little transitions right there. Um, yeah, I ran back home and we have a whole bunch of copper to smelt and I did pre-make some coal right here and that'll be fantastic. I uh, placed that on the way out. So now we can actually smelt this copper and look at that, our first bar unlocks the forge. Now we can actually make some cool stuff. This is gonna be a lot of fun. But I figure we kind of need a little more room in there to, to, you know, have a forge and to have all the eventual upgrades. So I expand the, the little work section by one block. I know it makes the, the deck area, the kind of useless deck area, it makes it a little bit less symmetrical. I don't prefer this. I, I'm probably going to change things. But yeah, it's, <laughs> it just looks even worse now. <laughs> but let's collect this copper and, you know, take a look at the bees. It's, it's, there's more space inside and really the function is more important than the fashion right now. I stand around for a little bit, grab the last copper that I need to make the forge and let's go ahead and plop this baby down. Oh, look at all this stuff. I mean, actually it's not that much, but we're in the Bronze Age officially. So I dance to celebrate. It's just, you know, Gotta do it. It makes sense. Let's take a look at what we can actually make. It's actually not that much. I, I forgot how little it was until you started actually forging bronze. That's okay. We can get more resources and let's do that a little bit. Copper. And I know there's a better technique. I, I need to mine out everything. And so I kind of started working on that. I did not record everything. That would just take up so much space. But I did work on this for quite some time. And you can see my progress at night. I was here for quite a long time. Well, I made a few trips so that I could actually repair my pickaxe, but I kind of gave up. It was taking way too long. I did not end up coming back to this copper vein, but I did get some copper. I smelled it a little bit down and now I can make some bronze. Oh, oh, look at all this stuff. Fast forward. Look at all this beautiful stuff. Now we're in the bronze age. We were in the tin and copper age when I said that. Now we are officially in the bronze age. So a little bit of inventory management and I check to see if I can find the cart. I forget that you actually have to craft the bronze nails before you unlock the cart. I was gonna do, you know, a big run for copper. But yeah, let's take a look at this really not so great house again. It's just, it hasn't gotten any better since I did nothing. So, I'm dissatisfied. It's time that we do a few, a little bit of renovation. What do you say? You don't really care? No? So let's speed through this. <laughs> yeah, I get rid of the roof once again. And I, I think I saw a Reddit post where that gave me this idea. And I, I'll just kind of show you and iterate because this takes time. But I wanted to put these little bits right here and use some corner pieces, which I just, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but corner pieces, look at that. It'll actually bring the awning around. Yeah, that'll look pretty nice. So I fiddle around with this design, fill in some stuff, and I'm starting to really like how this looks, or at least the concept behind this. Uh, a nice little 360 awning that goes all the way around. And I think on the top right here, I'll have to bring it up a little bit so that there is some clearance. So let's test that out. And yeah, it's just not gonna leave enough clearance. So, you know, gotta go back to the original trick where I raise things up 
one half of a block. That's gonna leave a little more clearance. So I kind of repeat the process where I put all these awnings out there and the upper, you know, the, the more high angle roof piece right here will actually leave some room for my head to walk around. And this looks cool. Doesn't look like a barn and it will especially not look like a barn when it is a full 360. So yeah, more than enough clearance for the head and this is gonna be great. Or is it? I think at the very least it has potential to be not terrible, but we'll see. We'll get there. Little corner pieces here and there. I, I just think that this, this kind of just does really change the game. And I do fill in the 360 and it does look a whole lot better with that extra half block because, you know, a little more headroom up top and these, these just, it's, it seems to be like this, this is exactly what it was designed for. I mean, it is a perfect square overall, uh, so it was kind of expected, but the fact that it turned out actually perfectly square, it's, it's satisfying. I didn't have to do any extra stuff. I really don't. I really struggle at commentating over building. This is this is not fun. <laughs> maybe maybe in future building montages, I will speed things up and just do something a bit shorter. But this is our home. This isn't just my home. And I wanted to show you guys my thought process. Not just hey, this is the final building. This is this isn't about just me building something. This is about us building something together. And look, we've got a big old hole in the top and I, I jump on the roof to, you know, put some, put some, you know, corner pieces on top. I say, you know, too much. I'm going to try to fix that. I put these up there and I, I struggled to actually stay up here, sliding down the roof. And these pieces are finicky in hindsight. I know I probably should have done the whole half block pillar go up high and it would have, <laughs> forgot that I fell right there. It would have helped dissipate some smoke if there is smoke in the future. Uh, it would look better as well. I don't know. This doesn't look good, but it is what it is for now. And eventually I do find a little spot that I can hang on to. I fill in that little gap. I know it looks kind of like a pyramid. I'm not a big fan of the way it looks, but it is a significant improvement to what we've had so far. And I don't know, this little mini mini deck right there not a big fan but now i have another idea let's break up the perfect little square uh, roof section with a bit of a deck up top right here so in beautiful sunsets i'm you know i'm, I'm actually by a beautiful lake so why not have a view i've got to have a view right there's going to be beautiful sunsets here and you can kind of see one forming right now it's slowly forming outside there and yeah it's going to be beautiful so why why would I close this up? This is a an upper decker after all. I have to have a view. So I create a nice little view up top here and it's it's just a great idea. Not that I actually implement the idea well. <laughs> it's let's just say once again this is an iterative process. It goes through a couple different iterations and I am just I'm really struggling making something good. Uh, right here, I know I'm building on a, a block that is uh, red. I know it's probably, I, I thought maybe I could, <laughs> I thought maybe I could get that up in time. I definitely couldn't. I always feel like I should take the risk, build on a red block and get up the extra block in time. It never works. So look at that. We've got a bit of an awning. We're not gonna get rained on. And just look at that view. It's gorgeous. And yeah, look, I made a bit of a, a doorway to go from the upper decker to the outside little deck section. But the problem with recording only little clips here and there, sometimes I, sometimes I miss stuff. And I'm trying to fix that. I, I do kind of fix that in the future where rather than just pushing record and leaving it on record the whole time, that takes way too much space. Rather than just doing like little clips of decent things here and there, I, I, you know, I push record and I cut out the monotonous stuff like me mining content constantly or me running around all the time. Uh, that's the stuff that I can cut out. But you saw that grayling was the only thing preventing us from sleeping. We were able to sleep. We've got that beautiful little awning right here. And yeah, it looks like crap. Yeah, it's crap. I don't like the upslope. It's weird. Got to fix it. Not a fan of that. So I, I do fix it with some uh, like concave uh, roof pieces. And I make this kind of like dome right here. I think this has potential. This has potential to look not like complete garbage. And look at that. 
let's say it's not complete garbage. We're still waffles of house garbage, but we're beginning to be a little bit less garbagey. And, you know, I think I need a little bit better of a view right here so these wooden pieces can go out there and I can remove these so that the whole roof won't collapse. And at the very least, it's it doesn't look completely terrible still, but up top, I do have a better view. And with that, I think this episode is concluded. Thank you all so much for watching. If you had fun, let me know, leave a comment, subscribe if you feel like it. I'll see you in the next one.